this is Ian O'Byrne. I'm taking a look at uh, my service in Reclaim Hosting. I've had a lot of colleagues and friends ask me why I use Reclaim uh, to host my website. Um, I also have a number of students um, that are joining Reclaim and starting up their own websites, um, either through our classes or through uh, a domain of one's own research project that we're getting started. Um, and I wanted to put together a quick video to take a look at behind the scenes what's happening in Reclaim and give you a little quick guided tour. Um, so this is just a quick video to show you what I have. Um, so I'm at the main website. If I go to the client area login, uh, I basically get into this area to you know access all of my content. One of the things to keep in mind is that this is behind the scenes of Reclaim. This is the way to look at um, their information about you and your account, uh, but then also host, uh, you know, uh, manipulate uh, your domains and move some of your content around. This is not how you access, you know, your WordPress site and edit that. We'll have up, you know, upcoming videos about that. So if I log in to the client area, I can go in and take a look at the information that they have about me. Um, I'm in the client area now. I can see my active accounts. I have one account with them. I have uh, three active domains. I have four things that I owe them money for. Um, I have my address there. Um, here's my invoices. I have four URLs, four domains that I have to decide what to do with. Uh, my overview of my account is there. So if I scroll through this and look at my accounts, um, I can look at my accounts once again. I can basically see what I am paying for. So I'm paying $45 a year uh, for the professional uh, or the, you know, the, uh, I forget what they call it, uh, but basically the professional account, the faculty, never mind, uh, account. So I can see what's happening with that. I can see details of this. I can change my password, um, any of that content there. I'm going to skip over the C panel for now. If I go to the domains, I can click through and I can see the different domains that I have. Uh, you can see I have a number of domains. These are the ones I'm trying to figure out what to do with now. But I have a number of domains that I have registered that I pay yearly for. I have a couple domains that I've paid for outside of Reclaim and then I bring in to uh, Reclaim uh, from Hover and other spaces. Uh, but here's most of the domains that I have through Reclaim uh, and I can see what's happening with them. I can also um, change the contact info, you know, you have to regularly update your address, so I can do that here. I can go to the billing area uh, and pay for my content. And then while we're here, two things that I love about Reclaim. One is the support, uh, the support system. If I want to submit a ticket, uh, it's almost uh, uncanny how quickly uh, they get back to you if you need support, if you have an issue. What I love about Reclaim is that they uh, answer your question, but also give you the information needed if you want to try and problem solve on your own. Uh, they will walk you through anything that you're trying to change. They pretty much give you, um, you know, more information than, than you need. They, they, I think that they believe in educating you so that you can uh, learn more about hosting and, and domains and, and learn more about building your identity online. So I really appreciate that. They also have a community center where you can go in and you can chat with other people that are trying to do different things. Um, I feel that the support is uh, top notch. It's stellar. Um, and so I, a little too often, I will just leave questions and comments there and get an immediate response. Um, from the, 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 you know, the, the core team that's there, um, I should spend more time in the community finding answers, but, uh, at this point I use a lot of the support, uh, but I'm trying to move over to the community and do more. So let's take a look at the C panel. This is where most of the real fun stuff happens. Um, this is why, uh, for my colleagues that are on a different hosting company, whether it's GoDaddy um, or whatever other space that you might be using, this is why you should be coming over to Reclaim. Um, so if I'm logged in now, I can see over on the side my, my user info, um, and this is for my main site for my wife, um, because I, I 
joined Reclaim through her website. And then once I realized how good it was, I added all of my other websites over here. Uh, you can see I'm using way too much data right now. So at some point, um, the Reclaim team is going to get a phone call from me or an email about buying more hosting space. Um, I can see all my other domains and, and the other information uh, that's, that's available here. Uh, I'm going to scroll from the bottom up. I can change my password and security here for my different spaces. I can do a lot of other advanced features here. Um, I can uh, host my own software. Um, you know, I have not touched any of this uh, as of yet. Um, I have played around with um, different databases and other software on my computer, but nothing online. I can uh, use a lot of security features um, that I have not spent enough time with. Uh, right now, I should spend more time with this. Um, as I look at uh, having some uh, online classes and some not really paywalls, but um, you know, premium content on websites, I will start to look at security and some of these other features. I can look at uh, better metrics uh, of my spaces as opposed to what I'm currently getting from Google Analytics. I can run database software, as I suggested earlier. I can run my own email servers. Um, I've thought about running email for my family. I currently run one email address for myself and one for my wife for her business. Uh, I can run many more than that. I just need to take the time to build it up. Um, I can use a lot of file hosting and put more of my content online. Uh, I can manipulate my domains and have subdomains. But this is where Reclaim really excels, at least for me. Um, so if I click on uh, my apps, I can take a look at what I currently have running at this time. Um, and what I like about it is when I was with GoDaddy or with another web hosting company, it was really hard to figure out what I was doing with my uh, content and information and data online. Reclaim makes it very easy to figure out what's happening out there. So if I click on my applications, um, these are uh, most of these are all WordPress sites that are up online. So I have uh, the digitally literate research project that I'm on with a bunch of colleagues. We host our own uh, research website. I have my wife's website. I have the Walk My World project website that's out there. These are all WordPress sites. Uh, I have a website for my podcast um, that's available online. I also have a, uh, a little mini site that I have, the, the In My Humble Opinion or IMHO website that has some of my quick thoughts and bookmarks, um, things that are not like ready for prime time. And then I have, uh, this is redundancy. This is basically my podcast again. So I have a number of websites that are individual WordPress sites that are all running within that same 40 to $50 that I'm paying. Um, and you can see I'm about to max out my data, uh, but those are things that I'm all running. If I wanna add more, if I go back to the C panel, I can go in and click on all applications. And what I'll have is the opportunity to basically push a button and start up an application or a website. Um, and these, most of these are all, uh, or they, I, I, I'm, I, I'm assuming they're all open source tools. So I can have community building tools if I wanted to. I can build my own and run my own forums. So I can run discussion forums if I uh, want. If I have a group, um, if I have a classroom that I want to set up and I want to run my own discussion forums for the group. I can build my own, and I've spent a lot of time thinking about starting up my own wiki so I can link my different posts, uh, things that connect themselves to one another. Uh, I can run my own content management systems, my own CMS. So we've already talked about, and we will continue to talk about WordPress. I showed you some of the WordPress sites that I have. I also have uh, one or two instances of Known. That's the lighter weight blog that I set up. Uh, it's somewhat like Tumblr. Uh, I really like Known and, and used it for different things. I've been thinking about using uh, Drupal and possibly Joomla uh, to set up an online content management system or online courses. I've been looking at uh, Mahara and a Moodle server. So you can run your own Moodle and Mahara server uh, using your hosting uh, 
a little bit more work, but I think it's well worth the time that you put into it. Um, so you have a lot of different tools that you can use. Uh, for my friends that are in research and they're thinking about publishing in different capacities, I, I would definitely check out, um, I think it's pronounced Scalar, but I've seen a lot of interesting publishing happening uh, and colleagues that are using Scalar, and I've been thinking about using it myself um, to put works out there. So there's a lot of opportunities to basically click a button and start something running. Uh, you can also look at other apps uh, for commerce. If I have paywalls for some of my websites, I have to dig into that. Um, another interesting piece is the opportunity to use OwnCloud. So OwnCloud is an open source version of Dropbox. So you can run your own uh, Dropbox, your own Dropbox on your hosting for Reclaim. Uh, so you basically click a button and it starts it up and running. Uh, and then they have other miscellaneous apps. I can have my own RSS reader, uh, a lot of different free tools. And it's very simple to get things up and running. And I'll talk more about this in my post about WordPress, but I can click on WordPress. I can see uh, you know, oh, an overview of what this will ultimately look like. But if I, ult if I just say install this application, So if I click a button, say install, it asks me where do I want to install it. I can see my domains, what version, and then all I do is select a username password, scroll on down and hit install, and wait for it to download WordPress, install it into my server, and then within a couple minutes, I have a WordPress site that is up and running. It's at the domain that I select, and it's running on the hosting that I have for Reclaim. So that's where you get into uh, the challenges or the opportunities to figure out what you wanna run. You can get things up and running very quickly. So once again, that's a quick overview of Reclaim Hosting. I gave you a look at behind the scenes, what's happening in my materials. I gave you a look at the, the cPanel and what really does it for me, the different applications that are out there and the ability to basically click a button, get a WordPress site up and running, get a known instance up and running, but the opportunity to, to click on a couple different things, get a website up and running and start building websites immediately, websites that you own. And if you get stuck, then I can very quickly shoot a note to the, the team behind Reclaim. They get back very quickly and can tell me what's going right or wrong, but then there's also a support system that's out there. So I use and I really value Reclaim, uh, and hopefully this quick video gives you an idea of what's happening behind the scenes, and it's something that you might want to